looks so good. And I'm so stoked you guys got to play here for us. So you guys should be great. It's a great vibe. Do you like that game to get stuff out there? That's the whole game. I am going through hard times, in the shadow of real recent converging, passing, pressing, kneeling, swimming, pulsing, changing in the country, formalized choreographic gestures seem trivial.
videos and I do performances and more. I like this Google map picture because it's very Americana, you know, the, the house is, is like glistening in white, the American flag is just waving with all its glory, it's really, it's really beautiful, you couldn't ask for more of it. I'm currently working on my thesis project which is You know, I'm not a slave to time or anything, but you have to have parameters <laughs> This is my grandmother's house. She lives in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. My grandpa lives up there. This is my grandmother's room. These are the stairs. That's my brother, Fred Wood. He just came in. I am going through hard times in the shadow of real recent converging, passing, pressing, milling, swimming, pulsing, changing in the country. Formalized choreographic gestures seem trivial. Lives Matter shirt. Life matters. And I'm not sure what this means. This is my eBay um, alert page. When you pop into eBay and you're signed in, they give you kind of a page of um, like an amalgamation of all of the things that you search for. 
And this is how I originally um, popped onto this Black Panther balloon that I've used many different times. This is Instagram asking who I am. This is an ad I found on Facebook. This is a movie. This is from a movie called CD40. And um, in this movie uh, about a rap group, the rap members um, break off and lead two solo career. And each member has this like very like distinct, um, uh, very interesting trajectory. It all started as a drum curtain when a runaway bride stormed into the place where she would work and she would move. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, and I'm black, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, 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 and I'
and I've never visited the land, but it's been an obsession of mine for a really long time. And in figuring out what to do for this fucking show, I thought, why not use the obsession and try to figure something out with it? So there are two parts to this piece. Um, the first part uh, begins in Frick Dam, New Jersey, where I go to my grandmother's house to dig up the ceremonial gear um, in her backyard. And all the ceremonial gear is, um, there's a hat, there's a uh, masks and, the, and the, uh, the sweaters. And so I dig that up from the backyard. Well, that's fictional. And I told everyone that this was a fiction that we were going to pretend was not a fiction. And so when I was filming in the house, you know, this is not um, something out of the blue. This happens like once a year, once a year, people want to go down there and, you know, see things, and that's just what we do. Because like many traditions that don't really make much sense um, uh, in like the contemporary form. And while I was asking my family to talk about this and include their own kind of absurd like history into this narrative that I've created, um, that mix um, true um, family stories and like in these fiction. My grandmother started talking and um, like I asked her to and she started talking about these flags that are buried in her backyard. And um, so, what I didn't know, and what a lot of other, what a lot of the other family members who were there didn't know, is that since my aunt's been in the military, um, she's been in the military for I think um, going on 25 years. My grandmother, all the flags that she she um, hangs outside of the house, she buries in the backyard once they get tethered. Um, and so, uh, my she asked my aunt. What she, had, what she could do with them. I guess the first time that she needed to replace the flag, and she said, well, you know, you can't throw them away, so try to find a place that's dignified for them. And the dignified place for these flags for my grandmother um, was underneath the colophanes. So this project wound up turning into something really amazing. Um, and before I left for the weekend, we dug up the backyard and we found this flag. Um, so now I'm in the process of trying to figure out what to do with all this footage. I have no idea what's going on with it. Um, I have no idea what type of narrative I want to create because in a lot of ways I've always felt extremely fragmented and I understand that my relationship to like whatever blackness is, I, I, don't, I don't even know what that is, is totally different from my grandmother's or even my brother's as a, who exists as a black man or my aunts and my uncles. And um, I'm just trying to figure that out. And I think that there's something about kind of like this interface that makes a lot of sense. You know, everything's so fucking fragmented. So um, we have scissors, and I, I like to get the scene of you, Mom, um, cutting the head out and then putting it on Grandma's head just to for a fade. <laughs> it's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> yep, so she's the main character, like of the of, of the part where it's at Grandma's her house. So some more. She is the main character. Cut it now. Um. Yeah. This is. Totally awesome. Yeah. And like in a way, trying to kind of like relate all of these things to myself somehow um, is really is really difficult. I don't want to make something that um, makes these people look foolish, like I love them and my family. Um, but I also think that there's something about having 
for needing to um, totally subvert the ways in which we think about the black family. It's funny because there's so many things to read into this, but um, I guess the most important thing is that they all decided to come in that latter way. And do this weird ass thing. So if anyone has any suggestions on like how I can like finish my thesis project, that would be like cool.
interested in whether or not the, the lecture as performance has something in it for you. Like um, the act of figuring something out um, in a performance space like a lecture which is actually meant to instruct us, but to reverse the lecture as a space of instruction and more as a place of self-discovery could be sort of interesting. I know that that was just a performance for today in a sense, but, but there might be some some fertile ground for you there with the lecture as a performance tactic. Or a series of lectures, considering the exhibition structure and the visual window. Mm -hmm. You know, a series of lectures on different aspects of the project. Because I think there's a lot more here. And I would just be afraid of it being glossed over into a, a, a sort of um, broad stroke when there's room for individual topic matter to be discussed at greater length and with greater depth and with maybe response. So, um, and a response by the public is a sort of performance, so that you're allowing to happen. So, I would be interested in a lecture series perhaps being a part of it. That's a performance of a lecture series and a lecture series at the same time. Perhaps. I like this one. <laughs> Well, thank you all very much for coming, um, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.
And if you if you want to see video, it's on mother mothermother.org in the live stream. Thanks.